welcome. Welcome to the probably second episode of of the Cracked Podcast. This is Allison. My name is Ryan. This is Trey. And this is Catherine. Hi. Hi. Hi, all. So, want to hear something crazy? Something crazy about scams? That's what we're talking about today, is people getting scammed. Cryptocurrencies, etc. Okay. I want to tell you about my favorite scam. What's your time. favorite scam? My favorite scam of all time. Why do you have a favorite right? scam? Because it's a great scam. All right. I got, I got, I got, I got a little, uh, a little story here, right? So there's these two guys, Philip Arnold and uh, John Slack, right? So they found a diamond mine in the West, and like, you know, the late 1800s, early 1900s, somewhere around that time. And they wanted to sell it, so they go to these, these, these uh, financiers like the Rockefellers and, and Charles Tiffany of, you know. The Tiffany diamonds, you know, I'm sure you're all familiar with those kinds of Tiffany diamonds. Tiffany and Co. Tim- Tiffany and Co. Yeah, okay. so exactly. The people over diamond ring or whatever. Yes. Yeah, pretty much, right? Yeah. And the Roth, the Rothschilds, etc. Those kinds of people. And uh, at first, they didn't, they didn't believe the two, the two guys, Arnold and Slack, and uh, so they, they hired a guy to, to follow them into the diamond, into the diamond mine. They took them to this convoluted place, and uh, they found the diamonds. And they came back, and were like, yeah. There's definitely diamonds there. And the, the Charles Tiffany looked at him. He was like, you know, a leading expert in like appraising diamonds, right? He was like, oh, these are worth a lot of money. We should definitely check this out. So the uh, financiers, they uh, they say, okay, we'll give you each $100,000. And then we'll put uh, $300,000 in, uh, in escrow <coughs> for you guys. And then another $300,000 we'll give you after the deal is done. But first, we're going to go and make sure that these are real, right, ourselves. So they take this guy that knows a lot about diamonds. His name is Janin, I think. And uh, he's a pretty skeptical guy. He doesn't believe these guys at all. So they're like, okay, if this guy says they're real, then they must be real. So they go again, go through this convoluted path, and they get there. And they realize, uh, like, Janet, he's like, guys, this is, like, the greatest diamond mine of all time. Like, these diamonds are worth a lot of money, and you're going to find a lot of stuff. Right? Forgot to close the door. Um, so this Janet guy, you know, he's looking around. He's like, oh, my God, guys, this is, like, the most valuable diamond mine in the history of time. So the Rothschilds and all these people, they come together, and they're like, okay, guys, this is worth a lot of money, but we're not going to, like, tell them, because then we have to give them, like, a lot of money, you know? So if we're going to scam them out of their diamond mine, right? So they go to them, and they're like, eh, you know, there are diamonds there, but it's not all that. So we think that you should just accept the $700,000 that we've already offered. And keep in mind, this is $700,000, not just for inflation, like, back in 1900s. So it was a lot of money. So they're like... Why should we do that? And they're like, well, you know, if you get into business with all of us, we know the tax codes better. We know the business better. We're probably going to, like, fleece you out of all your money. So it's probably best to just take the money and run at this point, right? So the two guys are like, okay. And so at this point, you're like, wow, Ryan, that's a pretty messed up scam. Like, your favorite scam, you got two guys scammed out of their diamond mine. But that's not the actual scam. The actual scam is it turns out that months before, the two guys planted a bunch of diamonds in the diamond mine. (laughs) <laughs> so it wasn't an actual diamond mine. And most of the diamonds they planted were not worth nearly as much as Tiffany appraised them for. Um, so they spent like $10 million getting ready for this mine and uh, got nothing back. So and then they tried to come after Arnold and Slack. <laughs> and they were like, we just sold you the rights to the diamond mine. We never actually said there were diamonds there. We just said that you could get them out if they were there. And they got off scot-free. So, Greatest game of all time. So all where did the diamonds come from okay so (laughs) they they were they were miners okay gold miners yes and they had like saved up like twelve thousand dollars so they went to europe and bought some diamonds they bought diamonds diamonds. so they they could come back and plant them months before they had even announced that they so they went to the store Uh and was like hey let me buy some 17k worth of diamonds Mm -hmm. just to plant them like plants yep months like they they planned this for months in advance months yeah and they did that. Mm-hmm. And this is out. And it worked. The and it first? Worked. It worked, yeah. Because so this is the first what the hell scam. So this isn't like the first scam. but this, So this is a real scam. And I read about this in the 48 Laws of Power. And the, the law is to... Love that book? Yeah, of course. Great book. Of course he has that. And uh, the law is Law 21, <laughs> exactly. I think. Buying it. And it's like, uh, you know, be dumber than your mark. And so the, the reason it worked is because they go in and they to like New York to meet all these guys. And they're from like Wyoming, I think. Um, of course, they're from Washington. and uh, something like that, <laughs> and so they they dress in like clothes that are like two sizes too tight and like overalls, and they talk with like a thick accent and they act like they're they're morons. So that the rich 
like you know Rothschilds and Tiffany's are like we can get we can take these guys for everything they're worth. They're actually uh-huh. the stupidest people they're we've ever met. Dumb. But no, in reality, they were they were they smarter. Pieces. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. What the heck? Great scam. Th- that's a great scam. So that's that's scamming you know millionaires, which is which is great. But unfortunately, most scams today target elderly, the elderly and the stupid. I have a story about that. Yeah. So one time, I went to I had to do a play in high school, and I was the co-writer. And um, I had to put that out there. <laughs> but um, I was I was at school. This was on a weekend. I was at school, and my dad calls me. And you know, divorced parents. Uh, so my dad calls me, and he he was in South Carolina at the time. And that was when I lived in Vegas, right? So he calls me, and he was like, "What are you doing?" And I was like, um, "I'm at the theater doing play rehearsals." And he was like have you talked to your mom? And I was like, what do you mean have I talked to my mom? And then he said, well, your mom thinks you got kidnapped. (laughs) (laughs) So my mom thought that I was kidnapped because someone called her and she thought it was my voice in the background saying that I got kidnapped and they want money. (laughs) And they actually went to the bank to get the people money and they got their money back. But I literally called my mom and she didn't answer the phone. And then I called my stepdad, and then um, my mom answered the phone mm-hmm. when I called my stepdad. And she was like, oh, my God, are, are you okay? They, they said they called me and stuff like that. And I was like, Mom, I'm fine. I was more mad than, like, worried, <laughs> to be honest, just because, like, you know, I'm a high schooler. I'm, I'm ignorant, and I'm just annoyed that my mom didn't call me first. Right. She was like, I couldn't get off the phone because I thought you were kidnapped. And, I, <laughs> and um, you know, I felt bad because, you know, my mom, she's a little older, but she's she's like she's she just turned sixty this year. So this was like a couple years back, right? But like she's not from America, so she doesn't really. I don't think she really knows how do I media literacy. She doesn't know media literacy. That was the word from last time that I didn't know, and then I found <laughs> out what it was. By the way, media literacy. She didn't know about anything about media literacy, mm-hmm. and I think. Um, elderly and like older adults need to learn that to really know what a scam is and what is what isn't a scam because it's like trillion it's a trillion dollar company out wherever it is you mean like, like industry yeah like it's an industry in india and yeah. like there was a time where i dived deep into the the process of scamming like i watch a bunch of these youtubers who scam the scammers basically and like call up yeah, watch call them up They'll even like pull up their CT TVs and like hack into their systems. Oh, yeah, I watched. I saw a thing of that on TikTok. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, my mom got her money back, but she she almost sent it because it wasn't her that was gonna send the money. It was gonna be my stepdad because he was already at the place where to send the money, and it wasn't like a place where you go send money normally. It was like at a albertson's and albertson's That's is like a cheap place it's a it's right. a grocery you store <laughs> it was a grocery thousands store. of dollars in amazon gift cards. okay shut up <laughs> <laughs> no we're not doing that today so so lesson learned i think adults need to learn about this type of stuff even if it's like your kids should teach you how to do this stuff because we are more knowledgeable about the internet and what goes on, mm-hmm. stuff like that. So, so are we doing story over time it? of when we got scammed? I guess so. Well, well, I me... wanna, well, I want to say on, on that story, what's messed up about that, this yeah. is not a long point, is that we, like all of us doing this, right, our yeah. voices are out there. Yeah. Imagine if that had happened like 10 years later, your mom's a little older, and yeah. you've got an AI of your voice. Yeah, isn't that know? crazy? Yeah, no. It's true. That's, yeah, no, AI and voiceover is becoming more fucked for real Mm -hmm. sorry for my language but it's true people are stealing people's voices and putting it all over the place but who knows maybe they did steal my voice because i mean i mean at that time i wasn't like posting anything on youtube but it could be a thing because i was just having fun or whatever you know what i mean so like who really knows like i feel like we as gen z slash millennials (laughs) need to kind of step it up because our parents are getting fucked over by 100s thousands of dollars 
like mm-hmm. every single year because they don't know what a scam is and what a scam is it like literally a couple weeks ago i got an email saying that i got a confirmation for a hotel registry mm-hmm. but i never registered at a hotel and they called me Catherine rodriguez like, and then and then they sent me they sent me the address to this hotel and it was literally a shack because it was on google maps no no and it's from like colombia no okay one they have scammers on facebook coming now like metaquest or whatever and they put like the facebook logo on yeah. there as the profile picture and it was like your account it has been suspended because we found activity that's not pro- prohibited or whatever and so i actually emailed like got on messenger and text the facebook people and was like hey can you look at my account make sure and they was like oh that seemed like a little scam book thank you we've received the information and then when i actually went and clicked on who texted me mm-hmm. i was like wow it was like yeah, yeah it was a scam and yeah. they've been making multiple accounts been trying to get yeah. to my account because what somebody would do be like oh junk my account has been like suspended let me go and put in my information to see can i get access to it and then that's how they get your information but that's that but now nah, let me tell you a time i got scam on cash app in a way <laughs> Not Cash App. Mm-hmm. Yes. No, actually, it was Instagram first, and then Cash App. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I have to love this. Love this. This is riveting, Allison. Yeah. Tell us how a social media sensation like yourself gets stand. Okay, so I don't, I can't remember if I was in middle school or high school, but I was on Instagram, and you know, like a random person hit me up mm-hmm. saying, you know, like, oh, if you give me this much, I can return back this much. So. Oh my God, you were doing that. Yes. You know, oh, I, I know what that you is. Doing that, you stupid. <laughs> Come on, felt, she was like, she was a child. She yes, I felt for it. So I'm like, you know, I'm like, oh, junk. Like, I so I sent my like. She was like, she was giving me a deal. So I sent like my um, you know, like fifty dollars first. They get like my hundred. It's like, oh, if you send this amount of money, you can get two hundred back. So I only had like a few hundred in my account, and I ended up sending the whole one hundred dollars <laughs> and something that I had in my account, bro. And then she's like, okay, yes, like. I'm going to send you the money on this day. And I was like, oh, yes, good. Because I was like, I want to get my mom something for her birthday. So I need my money back. Damn. And she was like, okay. And I was like, <laughs> that's then, tough. You know, a few days passed. And I haven't heard nothing from them. And I was like, hey, how long will it take? And, you know, they sent me, like, the Western Union, like, the fake Western Union check. Yeah. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. It should be sent in soon. And then, No. It just didn't happen. It didn't happen. Yeah. And I never got my money back. But what made me realize that, oh, this is a scam because she texts, the person texted my number. It was a she, by the way. She texted my number and was, was texting on the number. She's like, can you send me your like parents' card or whatever? And that's when I caught on to it. So what I did is I went on the internet and got like a fake card number from the yeah. Google web. Yeah, and I sent like the fake information. And then they was like, you dumb little girl, send me the actual number. Really. <laughs> <laughs> and she really, like, they she really called they, you stupid. That's so yeah. They always immediately result, like whenever you watch those YouTube videos you were talking yeah. about, when they figure out that they're being like played with or whatever, they get, they get so angry. Yeah, they it's get, like you're trying to scam me. It's like, so funny. Get, like, just like in the call. Yeah. I'm so glad I caught you on see? it because like, if I hadn't, I could have like easily put my mom information out there and her car could have got stolen, her money, mm-hmm. and... That made me realize, like, okay, at least I had some common sense not to do that. Yeah. Did you even give them your routing number? No, I wasn't also, that dumb. Also, kids, it was Cash App. Yeah. Yeah. You have a routing number on Cash App. Well, you, oh, well, you I can't don't really use do something a lot with just. No, no, no. That was in the Cash App. That was with Instagram. Oh. The Cash App one was this boy on Snapchat. It was a friend brother account. So I didn't know his brother account had got hacked. Oh, okay. They were doing that thing where they're like, yeah, yeah like, I got oh, you sent $10. $10. <laughs> like, you send me $10. I give you 20 and like, I was like, guys, I ended up sending the guy thirty dollars because I'm thinking it was his brother who I could trust. And I was like, Hey, can you tell your brother to send me my money back? He scammed me. He's like, That wasn't my brother. He got he got hacked. And I was like, Bro, I lost thirty dollars. Yeah. That is hilarious. So now I don't fall for any of that junk. And then when sugar daddies be like, Hey, hey sweetheart, <laughs> well, you want fifty or hundred? Like, no, I don't believe any of that junk. I am like very insecure with the internet and being scammed these days. Okay, back to what you were saying. Kids, if anybody asks for your cash app routing number and accounting number, don't do it. Be smart. Don't be a dumbass, you know? It's true. Yes. I was scammed yeah. one time. Okay. Right. So there mm-hmm. I was. Y'all just give it out money. There I was. <laughs> In the 1800s. And these two people from Wyoming, they came up to me and they said, we got this diamond mine. 
that we would like you to invest in. You literally just told this story. You literally just told this story. No, no. Um, the only time I ever got uh, actually scammed was this one time I got a letter in the mail. And it said, you've been accepted to Lander University. Yeah. <laughs> LOL. That's crazy. Oh, but God, really, I'm though. Here. But really, though. Is that it? That was, yeah. yeah. Damn, I mean, I've never that's been crazy. Been we, we do not uh-huh. approve of that message. We love our school very yeah. much. Mm-hmm. But, um, school prize. Yeah. What's it called? I feel, I feel like it's hilarious that... Fair cap. I think that's hilarious that um these scammers do get mad once they are found out. It's hilarious. So, like, in videos... I don't know if I know some of y'all have seen it. Ali, have you seen the videos? Which one? Where the one where they like f- get find out that they're being scammed? Yeah. No, yeah. no, you haven't. No, you haven't. Okay, so basically, what happens is is that this specific streamer goes for three hours trolling like a scammer for three hours straight, and he streams this on Twitch, and he pretends to be an older lady it's who the is one with like, the gift card, right? yeah, it's the one with the gift card. Okay. So, <laughs> so, so he would, so she, so the guy would tell this old lady to, oh yeah, put the gift card under this email, right? Mm. So what they want is the gift card, yeah. basically. And so she types it into her own account instead of the one that he says. And he's like screaming. He's like, no. <laughs> I, t- I just choked. Um, and he's like, no, ma'am, ma'am, don't put it down there. No. <laughs> and he is screaming at, and everyone on Twitch is like listening to this. I like this one guy. He's like very monotone and he's very, I think he's creepy as heck, but he does a really good job. So like what he does is watch them through their CT TV. He watches them while they're working. Mm-hmm. And That's creepy. he calls them, or like they call or whatever, because he'll get the emails, right? So he'll get the emails and then they'll call. And then she, and then he'd be like, is this so-and-so? And then she, but she introduces herself as like an American name. So it'd be like Trisha or something like, hello, this is Trisha from Microsoft. Do you, do you need assistance or whatever? And then he's like, yeah, I just got this email and stuff. Is this, insert real name here? And she's like, who are you like why are you talking to me and she was and he was like do you like the color purple and it's a purple shirt that she's wearing and so she and then so she just hangs up and just walks away from the thing and then some um some people actually get these scam like facilities like fully shut down and arrested but some of the people in the government are for it but a lot of people um in the culture like i'm pretty sure it's like mostly india and yeah. indian culture they're like also they also feel bad that this is happening as well so it's like a lot of conflict in their culture yeah. as well because it's like it's going to turn into a stereotype and it's going to be fricked up and um like there's also like no justice for the people that had that are in debt because of the scams that have been happening because this has been an industry for over 20 years and yeah. they're still getting money they're still getting trillions of dollars and sometimes the higher up people in the government are getting away with it because they're like you guys are getting money that's totally fine but like there are also some people that want justice as well Mm -hmm. so it's like the law enforcement is like back and forth i would say Mm -hmm. of what i've researched anyway right like some some cops are corrupt somewhere yeah speaking of that trey have you ever been scammed you got a scam story actually i've never been scammed before you know there's only been one time and it didn't even count because it was that you know you know y'all know what adfly is no what is it what's adfly that? what is that you know like if um people don't get monetized i mean make money from you like clicking a link yeah they'll like put like a middleman so that they'll get money like in the middle Mm-mm. I never <clears throat> you need to explain okay. it more yeah, yeah i don't right. i don't know the um formal name for it but it's just like one of those things where like you click a link and then you have to click skip on this website so it'll actually take you there like a redirectory okay i think i know what you're talking about yeah and then i accidentally like clicked a button and i was like so hey what's your credit card (laughs) ain't no way yeah i guess that's a form of scam but that was elementary school but i'm smart you know we all are smart just didn't have access to a credit card at the time. Yeah, that's, yeah, all, that's, that's not probably true. Reason. Common sense is not real. Yeah. 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 Well, you know the the strategies on those is like when they send those emails, if you ever look at them and you're always like, these like who falls for this? Because it's like 
Yeah. Like spelling errors and all that stuff. But no, that's hold like up. That's, you know that win a free iPad and Apple yeah. iPhone? I feel for you those know? a few times because I wanted my free iPhone. When that iPhone, hey, <laughs> sweet Ali. that iPhone 11 came out or the iPad, I'm like, oh, I want an iPhone. So, <laughs> that our social you know, media sensation falling for more. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. This was when I was desperate for an iPhone before I got my XR, okay? You know, them iPhones were expensive before I could go buy that XR. Mm-hmm. See, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get a free iPhone in the mail from Walmart. Or I'm going to get a $500 Amazon gift card. But then, you know, you have to perform those tasks like you got to do a survey and then buy this or complete this game and i was like it's I a just scam. never learned my lesson like i put my address and everything and then Bruh. eventually <laughs> i didn't okay okay i didn't i didn't know it was gonna go that to you wow. like eventually y'all i i caught on and now i don't fall for that crap that's okay you live and you learn life is trial and error so yes, like they target you they have a spy in your phone and say you, you sound like Ryan, but say the wrong words. I think it's I think it's more so Ryan, do not say anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, what am I gonna say? I would say like it's mostly people selling your data, finding it out and tracking it and stuff. Ryan, do you have anything to add on to that? Yes, now you can make speak. cybersecurity major. Well what I was gonna say earlier is that the the reason that, you know, there's all those spelling errors and stuff is because they know that if you're like, wait a minute. A professional person would not make this many spelling errors. I'm not even going to click on this because it's obviously a scam. If you are willing to look past all of the spelling errors, you're either, you know, too old or or ignorant to know any better, or you're so blinded by like the desire for whatever they're offering that you're you're basically you're more you're more you're more gullible. That's Hashtag actually like a cancel process. Grammarly. It's look like a at the process. actually now I get to the point like where I click on the email name and if it's like something like dot some random person blah 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 or random name or the name don't even make sense i'm like yeah it's like, like a, be for real it's like a, a generated email and then maybe yeah. sometimes it'll be like you know like a three seven eight nine seven dot yes yeah so they, add, they add the dot google to make it seem like it might be legitimate but then you see oh but it's like dot google dot even the whatever. email format be you know be weird because i'm just mm-hmm. like who the heck types like this? Mm-hmm. Right. Or the images be so weird too. But again, that's a screening process because if you notice that, then you're too smart to get scammed by them. So you yeah. can waste their time. You hear that? Further. Yeah, guys. But, smart. Yeah. Period. But, but yeah. the thing is, is like, you know, mo- like we have been talking about, like most older people are not aware that this is even a thing. Like, right. Like, yes, they probably grew up with the whole telemarketer thing, but now it's getting into their emails and text messages. Mm-hmm. They're clicking on links that they don't know lead to. Um, I know that Green, our, well, our town, I don't know if I can expose our town or anything. I know in, yeah, I'll just say, in Greenwood, we said we they're, had the they yeah, that's true. <laughs> we kind of exposed <laughs> ourselves. I mean, plus, Allison does go around campus. That's true. Years, anyways, so. <laughs> anyways, besides the point, I know in Greenwood, when I was looking for, like, volunteering opportunities, there are places where you can help the elderly. I think it's the community center or something. Even help the elderly maneuver through media mm-hmm. as a volunteer opportunity. I mean, you oh, just like I think there's a lot of opportunities to help the older people to maneuver around media and that goes back with social media media literacy is very important I think yeah even around this time because um we all know about internet safety that's what we all grew up with taking computer classes I remember taking computer classes in, in high school and middle school but they never really talked about the scamming um, they they only talked about like cyberbullying and not to do it, but they don't talk about the leaks, the scams, the data eating and cookies. We don't know anything about that. Well, can we talk yeah. about now how but scamming back then is different from scamming now? Because yeah. now since AI has really changed yeah. stuff, because now since we are on the internet, they can really grab our voices. Yeah, they can. Yeah, they're starting to work with um images now too. Yeah, um, I think they were like one um actor wasn't even in a movie. But they used his face. Oh, the dude guess. from Supernatural. Yeah, they put him in that whatever movie that was. And yeah, he was and like, like oh, they're not even paying me. And that's what, what the writer's yeah. block is all about. I think that could be like a whole episode within itself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyways, tune in next week. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Um. But, um, but, yeah, like scamming bad. Well, well that, that's kind of an interesting question because you said that you did do it and then you said that you didn't do it and then you said, would I lie to you? And 
logically one of those things has to be a lie. Anyways, cut. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're back. Hi. <laughs> we had to tame the horses. Yeah. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Everything I said was objectively correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But um, what's it called? Back to scamming, I guess. Scamming yeah, again, I guess. Part two. Um, what's your what, what, what's your favorite scam to do on other people? What's my favorite scam to do on other people? Yeah. Like that just sounds like pranking. Yeah, yeah prank. I feel like scamming is a type of prank. Uh, you got, like, you haha. Don't, you don't have any scams. Do I have any scams? That's a good question. I don't know. I was an only child, so crying was a scam. Mm-hmm. Very crying nice. was my scam. And Ooh, I know a scam. Going to my guys. grandma and telling on my mom. And you know, <laughs> you know, my grandma be like, "What you do to that child? What you do to that child?" Or you know, my grandma give me all my toys, and you know, she spoiled me. Yeah, same with my grandma. Yeah, I think that was my biggest scam. If you don't get nothing from your parents, go to your grandparents. They'll get you what you want. My biggest scam is acting like I'm weak and vulnerable until you think that I am, and then I just creep up on you, and then you're like. Me? How could you do this to me of all people? He did that? I don't know. The thing about Trace Scam is that nobody ever falls for it. It's pretty <laughs> that's kind of facts. Yes. That's a that's a lie. Um that's a lie. It's very true. It's very if, true. If you're if you go to our school, your perception of me is vastly different than what I am. Oh yeah. sure. Okay, Ryan, and for you? Hmm. Trying to think of one that I can say without getting in trouble. Uh, exactly. Um, telling people you're Jesus. Tell, I don't tell people I'm Jesus. People just say that about I'm me. the next coming. <laughs> they say that I'm, I'm the Lord's vessel. You know, you know um, what you got to do is you got to like go and buy like I don't know like the highest quality of some of some item, and at the same time. Buy like an identical lower quality version of that thing. So like sheets, right? You get like the, the high the high thread count sheets, right? And you buy the low thread count sheet of the exact same pattern. Then you go home and you switch the bags. Then you come back and you return the the, the new bag. Okay, that's I hope I hope sheet, you're actually not right. And uh, and so you get the money. But they get the lower the, the lower please, count. Please, sheet. please tell me that you actually didn't do this. <laughs> and you but get it's worn, though, but okay, but it's just like Amazon, y'all. But if it's worn, they're gonna throw it away anyway. So yeah, and just like Amazon, like if you say if you got a brake light, you know this could be true or not. If you got a brake light and it looks brand new, and you replace it with your old brake light, and your old brake light still looks new, and send it to Amazon, you get your eighty dollars back. You know, y'all, that is illegal. Okay, no, oh, for real. y'all for are real. criminals. For real, okay. Go to any busy fast food restaurant and just walk up and say, "Yo, I was through the drive through and they forgot my fries." Every time, they'll just give it to you. I mean, it is some, so, it's just McDonald's. You know, McDonald's don't give a trap. Uh, like yeah. they just like get out of my face. They literally just hire people to just sit there by the fries. Right. Every well, once in a while, some bitch will ask you for your receipt. <laughs> like, like you haven't like, and it's not it's not a scam. It's not. A, I'll tell you why it's not a scam. Because every time you go in and you're like, they forgot my fries. Guaranteed, one time you went home and they had forgot your fries. So you're just getting back what they owe you. Exactly. But, like, this isn't a scam, but it's kind of like getting at somebody. So I saw this one TikTok where it was this girl, and she just bought, like, a bunch of, like, random keys on Amazon. She bought, like, 20 of them and had, like, name tags that had, like, her ex's number on it and his her ne- her ex's phone number on it and his name on the back of it. And she was just driving around town and just throwing them out the window. So whoever like pick it up, they'll be like, "Hey, did you drop your keys? Hey, did you drop your keys?" Hey, it's scam. It's just a prank. Yo, Kat has know, been but, giving us the know? side eye. She's like, "What?" <laughs> She's not about these scams. Yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really a rebellious person. But I actually, I mean, it's not technically a scam. But one time, me and my cousin. She found the password to someone's Club Penguin, and we've been using the account for like over a decade. You still play Club Penguin? Well, we can't anymore, but I'm saying when it was still around, my cousin found out the password to a specific one. It was not hers. It was not mine. She just figured out the password because it was the username, right? So we didn't change the password. We just kept racking up whatever points for more puffles for this random person. 
Um, I don't remember the username or anything, giving them a shout out, but we have been using your account for over a decade like and did not get, you know, any repercussions about it or anything. We just, we just be using that account. I'm I like sorry, this is a, this is so random, but I think Pop Tropica was Pop way Tropica better was than Club Penguin. It was, it was. Yes. Hands know. down. Well, I like to think that whoever account you were using, they'd log in every once in a while and be like, where the hell did all this stuff come from? Yeah, yeah. No, like, we weren't, like, fucking them over. It was just, like, we've just been adding on to it. Like, I got him a new puffle. I don't know this person. You got You're a new puffle because of me. Why, You're welcome. Your account because I was seven years old and didn't know what an email was. <laughs> Duh. Like, I lost my Webkins account just because I used my mom's old email. And I don't have an email. Obviously, kids do not have emails. Yeah. 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 You had to use your parents' email for everything. Yeah. So I would have to literally either put my mom, like ask my mom, like, mom, what's your email? Or she didn't, if she didn't want me putting her email on certain sites, you know, I just put a fake email and, and hopefully I remember passing. Yeah. Confirmation. But then you need a confirmation. And then yeah, you're like, I don't know. Don't that, yeah, sometimes that, you don't need a confirmation. I don't think so. Was that the same back when we were kids? Though? I don't think so. I really don't. Think well, so. here's the thing I wouldn't know because I didn't even know that you. I. I didn't comprehend what an email was. Does that make sense? Like when you're a kid, you can't really comprehend what, like, what's going on. Mm -hmm. I didn't comprehend that having an email was like a way to contact an somebody. email. Yeah, I did not think that. I thought it was just some sort of like ticket into me playing Fantage, Pop Tropica, yeah. and all those games just for free. You know, I thought yeah, that was just true. the ticket in. Mm -hmm. And um, eventually, I don't even I don't even remember if I even made a fake. I did make a fake email. I made it on Hotmail. And it did not work <laughs> anymore. And I cannot retreat that account. So Hotmail, you owe me big time. I'm losing webkins here. Oh I spent God. over a hundred bucks on these fucking stuffed animals. You unlocked a memory where I put in a fake email and then I tried to make a real email with the same name like years later. And didn't work. And then I tried to reset my password to see if it would go to it and it never did. That's Guys, I think we got so off topic. Oh, That's okay. And then, again, and then yes. went Roblox. You know, Roblox, I still want my account back from 20, from back when I was in elementary school. I had the shaggy haircut, and I had a bunch of tickets that I never got to spend. Okay, I'm still so, okay, so, so let's, yeah. Let's yeah. wrap it up with yeah. yeah. What are your tips to avoid scams? I think, um, I think us younger folk need to teach our parents and our grandparents how to use it, um, use media efficiently, and maybe sign them up for, like, you know, community service stuff. Internet to help safety. them, internet safety, media literacy, all that stuff. It's very important, especially the same thing with kids. Like kids can intuitively get on the internet. I mean, come on, I got on Webkins and my mom didn't even know what the hell I was doing. For all she knew, I ran a monopoly behind her back. That <laughs> freaking knows, right? So I think it's just important to spread the word that you need to learn about media literacy. And I agree. For me, if you receive a call that you don't know just don't answer it because guarantee if it's important they're gonna leave a voicemail yeah if you answer it and you hear silence and they ask if they hear you do not say anything more than likely that's them trying to get your voice to say yes to mm -hmm. go scam a bank and government agencies or anybody companies will not ask for your information over the phone just randomly so yeah. beware of that as well. Mm -hmm. don't, don't agree. Your voicemail box has been full since I've known you. So yep, facts. That, like, facts. Trey, I like to you... save my voicemails. What do you think, Trey? You know, in what's defense of Catherine, I, yeah, what's your I, didn't make a, I didn't make a voicemail until high school. Okay, well, what's your anti scam advice? I agree with everything that has been said here. Just don't give out your routing number or your account number. Let's be honest. If y'all were, If a sugar daddy was looking for you, he'd just... He didn't reach you some way, just not through your email saying that he wants to put you on his payroll. Also, there's a difference between a sugar daddy and a guy who actually gives gets pleasure off of giving you money. So go for the person that just wants to give you money. Thank That's you. Exactly. Um, go to professional don't be a sugar thin babies. But, and Ryan? All right. So best piece of advice you can, I think you can give anybody to avoid scams since most of it's online as to whatever you do, turn on two-factor authentication. It's annoying when you're logging into something, but it's definitely like... Like, mm -hmm. if somebody's trying to hack into you, you know, because you get that little message in your phone that's like, hey, are you trying to log in? Yeah. And so you know, hey, I'm not. So therefore, I know I'm getting, like, somebody's trying to hack me. And you know that they might know your password, so you can change your password. And if you, even if you don't want to change your password, like, if you're really, you know, serious about not changing it for whatever reason, they can't get into it unless they somehow get to your phone or your email or whatever. And you, they even sell um physical, like, USB, like, tokens that 
act as the second factor of authentication that you have to have like close to you to, to log on. Just reminds me of something. I think somebody somebody was trying to get in my account this morning. Yeah, got, see? and then I got the ping for the Microsoft thing saying select the code, and I was like deny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think so you avoid getting hacked just today because of two factor authentication. I think it's great. That our school requires us to have the app, the Google Authenticator app. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, Love you, Microsoft. Yeah, it's very so you can get an app if you don't want to have like a, an email or a text message or whatever. Lots of ways to do it. Yeah. Well, but that's our advice about scams in our episode on scams. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, and catch the next episode. Yaga. Comment.